everybody, welcome to the TDC. Good question. So, what made you decide to join the TDC? Uh, I've been on TTC since October 28th, 2014. Debut was against the Jaguars. Jaguars. So, uh, any uh, any uh, favorite uh, rivalry you like to go up against in the TTC? Inside my division, favorite rivalry be with the Steelers. Outside my division will be the 49ers because the 49ers are my most hateable team in the NFL. And other than that, Steelers are our most favorite division team in the rivalry to go up against. So when you were going, when you guys lost to the Steelers in the playoffs, what was running through your mind after that game? What's going through my mind was anger, frustration, this disbelief. I knew by the way that Perfect and Jones blew the game for us. That made me sick to my stomach. Other than that, I was hoping to big a big bounce back this off season coming up. Yeah. So do you feel that uh, uh, yeah. Marvin Lewis Bengals goes I think he, he Yeah, I think he needs to go, but he said only if the Bengals win a Super Bowl, which is gonna be this upcoming season hopefully. But right now we need excited off season and draft needs. Uh, um, I think that, I think Jeff Need wise, either Eli Apple or J. O. Marshall or Braxton Miller from Ohio State, big needs there. Yeah. Um. So, uh, is there anybody TDC vid maker that made you decide? Uh, that, what made me desi decide to become a video maker for good is when my first crow was against the Texans when the Bengals were undefeated. That's when I had to decide to show my face. Uh, you just were making videos. Since then, I've been making videos since. I'll make videos in TTC today because I rep other teams as well. Yeah. So, is there any other, and there any other hobbies you like to do outside the TTC? Other hobbies is work, mm -hmm. sports, watching and playing soccer, mostly television, daily shows, and shopping and other stuff. So yeah, that's other stuff I do outside of TTC. Yeah, that too. Same question. Well, I'm looking forward to this upcoming season. The biggest hate week I'm gonna have on my mind will be against the Patriots, cause I got something in store for Patriots fans out there. Yeah. So do you have you have any hate for the Patriots fan base? I got lots of hate towards them because, you know, I still accuse Brady of cheating. He even though he didn't cheat. Still, he's still a crybaby because he still cries even after the Bengals beat the Patriots a couple of seasons back, like three seasons ago in Cincinnati. So how did you be a year ago or something you came across? So how did you come across? You just saw somebody you love and you just came. 
I joined the TTC. I saw the video from Bo. Something I didn't like from Bo knows that made me want to respond quick. Hmm. So how long? How long do you see yourself making videos? Ever since the day I had corrupted up to the Texans fan base. Since then, I've been making videos, making NHL TTC videos, NBA TTC videos. Gonna try out MLB TTC videos. Oh, Don't yeah. do college sports TTC because that'll get me bored as well. Only if I'm mm -hmm. limited. Who are your Who are your teams other than the Bengals? NHL. I like the Ducks. Even though they're eighth seed in the West right now, we needed a win last night, and the Sharks lost to jump in front of get a home game in the, our divisional grant side. NBA, I like the Bulls. We're struggling right now. According to the playoff picture for season worth to end today, the Bulls will be facing the Celtics. I'm hoping a big turn up this second, this upcoming second half. MLB, the Reds. The, and it comes to the Reds, I hate the Cardinals the most in the MLB. Oh, yeah. And finally, college, all sports, Ohio State. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, uh, you from? You from? Well, I'm a Bengals fan for, for life since I was born. And going into this week in the TTC, I've decided that after NFL season is over, I should make more TTC videos going after other teams. We got a big one coming up this weekend against the Blackhawks. Oh, yeah. I still need my revenge in that because that series in the conference final round last season, I can't even get out of my head right now. And still dealing with the loss against the Cavaliers in the NBA last season, I got my revenge on them. Uh, they're mm -hmm. no longer my concern. Yep. So, so. I still I get very furious when it comes to the ejections, though, because I will not like it if I see more of my team's players get thrown out like that. Unless if I see pine tar in the grass or yeah. the legal bat, then I'll, especially the Bengals, unless they're doing something they're not supposed to do, like fighting or other sorts, that would be reasonable. I say, I'll take the ejection because I won't stand for fighting. That is not what I do when I watch sports, especially mm -hmm. from the TTC standpoint. I don't do fights. Yeah. So you still go to school and work? Yes. I graduated from Northwestern back in 2012. I take classes at Clark State. I work at TAC, even though I just got home from work. But when I got home from work, I had to take the dogs out. So, yeah, still studying my off-season plans, upcoming season. So you're not, you don't have any time to make any off-season videos or anything other than just hate week videos? Other than hate week videos in the NFL, I make hate videos against teams I will go up against. Like Lakers, Pistol 2 one third would have responded if he wouldn't see my video. He, I know he's not supposed to go at it again when Ducks and Kings played again later this month. If so... I expect him to come out so I could throw a response video. Because his kings or my and my ducks hated each other. They're rivals. And I do do not like rivals hating each other again in the fights. Especially brawls. Brawls are worse than fights. And it comes to brawls, they, you know what? Let them go all out. See who gets thrown out. And if someone from my team gets thrown out, Nothing you can do. Just take it and move on. And other than that, 
if I see one of my players come into fragment two in the NBA, he's gone. That's his fault. I'm not gonna go over there and defend him. So, what did you feel about the TTC awards? I didn't get nominated. That's sad, but I'm trying to improve my trash talk so I can be active more often. Mm -hmm. Even though the other biggest hate we're going to go up against is the Broncos, which I got tremendous respect for Chilla, Gorilla, Orange Crush 97, and Brock Nut. Even though I had paid a bet to Orange Crush 97 this past season, I had to eat blazing wings and drink Orange Crush, which ugh, that's one of the reasons why you do not want to do that, but who knows? It is what it is. So if you know. play them again, would you feel would you feel like you would want to do that bet again or not? I want to win that game and get at least a top seed. So all well, nothing you can do. Got to move on. So out of your could, out of your fanhood as a Bengals fan, uh, how my fellow fans got up do that, but all those they, uh, I, as a Bengals fan, I know that my how my team goes. If you don't go up like you're supposed to and don't boot a game up like that, I'm gonna jump and get on you about that. They know how I feel. That loss against Denver was Bodine's fault. What it is, what it is. I still blame him for the loss against Denver. Everyone was blaming the quarterback that game, but you got to blame the center because he missed time to snap. That could have been a legal snap against the Bengals in a five-yard penalty, which I wouldn't have been okay with. Mm -hmm. When I so felt... When I saw my fellow Bengals fans throwing bottles and stuff at Big Ben, I questioned mm -hmm. about that. I didn't even know if you're going to come across attacking my team's fan base, you're going to get bashed. Mm -hmm. You know, this upcoming season, I also, I got respect for the Giants because they're my mom's team, but she's at work right now. But going up against Eli Man Little Manning. He beat him last time we hosted Giants. And every time the defending conference champion or defending Super Bowl champions go plays the Bengals in Cincinnati, almost every year except a couple of times, they get destroyed. My team so what, that got lucky, got escaped, was Steelers back in 2011. Other than that, Giants, Ravens, Broncos, Seahawks have tried to test the Bengals' mites, thinking they're better, but Bengals beat them since that loss to the last loss to defending conference champion, conference super conference champion, Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. With Denver entering this upcoming season as defending Super Bowl champs, I gotta set my mind right. Right and get ready. The other mm -hmm. big hate we be coming up be the Steelers. They owe me something I want, and that is revenge. If I told Steelers fans in their fan base, my team's fan base in my team are not your revenge. Ravens are your revenge. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard Joe, Be More Ravens Online, Joe coming back, just came back, returned to the TTC. He and I are going to go at each other this upcoming season. But setting my needs, with Ryan Cooper leaving Philadelphia, your Sanu or Marvin Jones testing free agency, I don't think we're being going to re-sign Adam Jones because he's one of the big reasons why we got knocked out of the playoffs again for the fifth straight year. Could have won that game because that would have sent us to Foxborough if Jones Adam Jones would didn't mess us up. Oh well, well, gotta move on. Well, before we wrap this interview up, is there any, any shout outs? To yeah, I want to give a big shout out to the A Train Five One Three. 
Brunsteel, MacMain70, Emo Ravens Online 4, Bangles Run This, and everybody out there on NFL TTC because big also a big shout outs to Jayhawk Jet, which I got respect for in Chill Grow and Pistol 2 on for third, which I got tremendous respect for. But I got one you pistol two on third. When you're going up against my red team MLB team's Reds fan base this year, you better come out with the hate video against my Reds because I'll be firing one at you. Mm -hmm. That'll be my warning to Pistol. Also, shout out to the Laker fan fan. You could have came out against me because I told Laker fans are not going to make the playoffs this season. And also a big, big shout out to D1 Chosen, the A-Bomb, and everybody else. Yep. So it's been a pleasure having you and interviewing on this. I'd like to have you back on in the near future, possibly. And we could talk yeah. more about the Eagles and, and your teams. But this is Matt Ogden, Athletic Dash Dashy Folk. And we're signing out. Peace. Yeah.